Hey everybody, Samuel Singer here, the founder and executive director of Wyoming Stargazing. Thanks for joining me and welcome to Mind Bending Astronomy. In every episode, we'll share with you, well, a mind bending fact about astronomy. Last time, we learned that it's impossible to accelerate an object with mass up to the speed of light because doing so would require an infinite amount of energy, which the universe just doesn't have. Today we're going to explore an alternative way to travel vast distances in the universe without accelerating up to the speed of light. And I want to be clear that what we're getting into here borders on the realm of science fiction. We've never actually seen the objects that I'm about to talk about, nor do we have any direct evidence that they exist. Um, they're merely mathematical equations. However, some physicists think that they might actually be physically possible. So with that, let's talk about wormholes. Shortly after Einstein developed his general theory of relativity, other physicists found solutions to those equations that suggested there would be areas of space-time that you could enter but not exit. That's a black hole, which we'll talk about next week. Einstein and his colleague Rosen, as well as other, other physicists, also found solutions that suggested there were areas of space that you could exit but not enter. Well, that's a white hole, basically the opposite of a black hole. Einstein and Rosen postulated that there might be a bridge that could exist between a white hole and black hole that could allow you to travel vast distances of space between those two um, locations in space-time. Um, and that bridge um, has become known as a wormhole. Now that was over a hundred years ago. Since then, there have been lots of other types uh, of wormholes postulated, but the basic idea is the same with all of them. So imagine that space-time is represented by a piece of paper that's folded into a U-shape. Now the wormhole would be a funnel shape connecting each side of the U so that it would be way quicker to get across the piece of paper through the wormhole than traveling the entire piece of paper across the, the entire distance from one end to the other. It's unclear how long it would take uh, to actually travel through a wormhole, if it's possible at all, um, but you could potentially exit the far end of the wormhole at the same time you entered the beginning of it. This leads to some interesting time paradoxes uh, that leave some physicists believing that wormholes are even possible. However, if they do exist, then um, as they have in movies like Stargate, uh, Contact, and Interstellar, um, then um, we could potentially travel to the other side of the known universe in a blink of an eye. So very handy for interstellar travel. Uh, to learn more about this idea of wormholes, uh, check out the videos that I have linked in uh, the transcript of this talk. Next week, uh, we're going to take a small step back and talk about black, hole, black holes. Uh, before we launch into discussion of how engineers and physicists today are pushing the boundaries of what's possible to make interstellar travel a reality. Until then, be well and don't forget to look up.